Right, good morning everyone. So today we're at a Lexus. It's an IS. Is it 220 already? 220. 220 and it's 2006 model. Now the customer's complaint with this is he's not got any power steering assistance and there is a code. We'll show you the code. So the code is Charlie 155. Motor really was that winding, welding, failure, and that's current, right? So Charlie 1, treble 5. So the customer was convinced that the power steering had went and supplied a second hand part. So what we'd done before we even took it off, we just disconnected the multi-plugs on the one in the car here and we plugged this one in and indeed exactly the same fault came back. We could not clear this Charlie 155. But the customer also gave us this bit of vital information. This car had had a wire and harness repair done years ago and he was wondering if it maybe came back to haunt it. So he just said he would keep this as a spare. So I'll show you where we're at at the moment. Where we're at, we have located the EPS module which lies underneath the battery, right? So there you see, EPS. Now this is a 12 volt system where others, I don't know if it's the older ones or the newer ones, they're 20, 48 volts, but we've got a 12 volt system. So what we've done, we know we can communicate with the module, I should have showed you that, but we can communicate with this module, so that's not an issue. The issue it must be the power going to the, the rack. So what we've done is, we've took out the one multi-plug, you can see we've got a big fat red and a big fat black down there, so that must be power and ground. So we're checking that, and this is a real pain because you've got to take the battery out, so I'll just give it a supply via a top down. You just want to hit OK, but ready? So we've got our test light in there. So you can see we've got a good power and a good ground, even just with four amps, that's it, my man. So we're now going after, let me see, See this plug down here? We're looking for three big fat wires. I'll show you them in a minute. But see, it's got some kind of mastic stuff over it. So this is where we're heading the output of this module. We believe there's maybe an issue for the wires going to the module, the power steering, and I'll show you what wires we're attacking. But uh, we believe that module's good. Well, we think it's good. Right, right so here's the rack. That's a sensor there, that's a ground there, and then another sensor there, I think. One will be a torque, and one will be an angle sensor. But the one we're interested in is these three fat wires here, the red, the black, and the white. Now, when we pin this out, we're getting like two zeros and one five volt. We would believe that five volt maybe should be a 12 volt. No really sure. But uh, we'll go back up the top and do a continuity test between here and the ECU at the top. And I believe the wiring color does not change, so it's red, white, and black. And let's see what we get. So it's either the wiring's an issue, or it's the ECU that's the issue. So my setup for the next test is I've removed the ECU, and you can see this multi-plug here. Let's see, see it's just got three tabs on it. So that goes down to the power steering pump, that, that does the, the turning of the motor. So what we've done, I've just took my little test light again, and I'm going down to the bottom and I'm just using my power probe to send 12 volts up that wire, that wire and that wire. And we've grounded it here to see if we have continuity. So I've done the first one and it's working. So we'll go and do the, rest, the other two. So you can see here, I'll just take my power probe. Right, we'll go into that one there. You can see I've got continuity. And when I hit that button, the light... The light flashes up the top. I'll show you that. I'll get ready to do that. So the very fact I've got continuity, that means it, it's a circuit's intact. There's nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. So you can see I've got continuity. I push the button. My test light lights. See it? It's hard to see. See up the top there. So Roddy's doing the bottom, he's just going to find one of the three pins and when he gets continuity he'll press the button and it'll give it power. There we go, hit the button Roddy. So that's good, right, I'll go to the next wire Roddy, you just had it there my man. Can you? No, go to a different one. Yeah, 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 right, right there's, that's me on another wire my man, try that. Fine. Can I not? 
Oh, that's... Yeah, yeah. Right, hit the button. So that's good. Right, we'll go to the last wire. Hit the button. So there's three wires check out fine, didn't they? So we need we need an ECU. No unless we've got any other further information on that code, because Hmm, let's go back to this. I mean that's the only thing it can be is a computer. The wiring checks out fine because we've done our continuity test. Now this little guy here. And then once we put that in, we've got to calibrate it up, so. No, unless we've got any cross, any cross voltage, what do you think, see? Our next test is, this multi-plug at the top is disconnected. We are now going down to the, the, the it's brother down the bottom there, we'd call it, and we're going to cross these pins to see if there's any shorts in this wire, so we'll do a continuity test between that one and that one, and that one and that one. And these two, and that's it done. So we'll not get any shorts in the circuit. So we're, we're down the bottom here, and we've just got one of the, there it is here, so Roddy's just going to go into the other one. And that, if that beeps, we've got point you, we've got nothing, just go to the other wire there, Roddy. Nothing. So just switch. So I'm going in. They cross check. Nine. 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 And they just got the top here. Nothing. So we've not got any cross wires because that never beat. Because just to prove the point, if you take that out and hit the two together, you would get that. So check's complete. We need an ECU. Customer has ordered the ECU, so I'll just show you. So we've got five volts. I'm interested to see what the new one has. Then zero. Well, that's a zero. And that's a zero. So it's five volt, just five and a half volt, zero, zero. So plug it back in. I don't think it'll work. So we'll wait for the new ECU to arrive and I'll let you know. So this is a few weeks later. The guy went on eBay, ordered this. So let's pop it in and see if this will work, but we feel, we don't feel, <laughs> we think it is calibrated. So I think these numbers match up. I'm just going to pop it in and see if it works. Pins are clean. Yeah, let's try it. Hopefully we get another code. So with the new module installed and we went into electronic motor power steering, you see we've now got three codes. We have a, a C1528 motor rotation angle sensor. We have a C1532 to ECU malfunction and we've still got the really welding failure so I'm hoping when we go into the, this module that this is in the past and these two are current and maybe it just needs a calibration so let's go into it so read fault memory oh here we're good Roddy they're all in history, history yeah. so let's see if we can read that's moved to history that's the first time ever so we'll go to clear, clear fault memory, yes, okay, read fault codes. Right, the only thing is, the power steering is still not working, but we're not getting any hard codes, so let's go back, let's go back. So we'll go back into it again. Okay, read fault codes. So, look at a hot... So we'll be trying to start it and see if we get any power assisted. No, still not get any assistance. PS. And the PS light is still on. So, is the ignition still on? Read fault code. So motor rotation angle sensor. So that's probably the reason it's not working. We're not getting our original code. So that's good. So let's see. Right, I'll work this out and then I'll so show right you. Back into let me show. Special functions, right? Torque sensor adjustment. So use this function after replace, replacing the following parts: the EPMS ECU, the steering wheel, the tilt steam column assembly, or a steam gear assembly. The function adjusts the steering angle position. Please follow the prompt message when you use this function. Okay. We're straight ahead. We're straight ahead, didn't we? Yeah. So we'll go okay. 
Welcome to the torque sensor adjustment wizard. Ooh. This function is used to center the steering wheel if the EPC ECU had been replaced. Right, so that's fine. We have replaced it. Okay. Confirm the following fail. Confirm the following steps. Vehicle is stopped. Yes. Ignition is switched on. In case of HV ready on. Press OK to proceed. Right, we have, and I've got my battery maintainer on. So here we go. Now calibrating. Turn the ignition switch off and on. Want to do that already? Right. Then press OK. So that's it off, then on. Right. On, right, let's hit OK. Confirm that the PS warning light is on. Is the PS warning light on, ready? Yes. OK. Here we go. Set the steering wheel to the centre position. We'll wait now, perform the follow-up, and then press OK. We set the position, ready? Right. Then turn the steering wheel either direction 90 degrees or more. So go to the right 90 degrees. It'll be hard going right now. You need a wee... Oof. So jacked up. Alright, that'll do you right. Go the other way then, my man. Oh dear, it would be like Hercules to do that. That's your back to the centre. Yeah. Uh, right, go back, go 90 degrees the other way. <coughs> right, just. Do that. Right, that's, that's it. And then back to the centre again. Right, and, uh, that's centre's yeah. there. Right, turn the steering wheel back to centre. Turn the steering wheel the opposite uh, 90 degrees in the morning, turn the wheel back to centre. So we've done that, so. So, I've not got OK. Uh, it's still looking for it. Right, we'll come back to that. Right, Houston, we have a problem. We've done that, we've performed all these steps, and we're not getting the OK button. But if we wait, it'll come up with a communication issue. So, so look, my actual fobs went red and then it went to the top down means it's no longer communicating and we're following the exact steps it done so i don't know maybe go and try the hotel on it see if that does it i'll just wait and show you what happens here so just see this does they communicate right, we've followed the procedure on the hotel and we've done exactly what that said and we still cannot get the ok there's no ok button appears to hit ok to see that we've done that so it's like the communication goes down as well because the top down, it's still communicating with it. So we're wondering if this is exactly the same. So we're getting really desperate. We're going to try the snap on now, see if that does it. I'm okay. Right, we have tried every way to try and calibrate this and we keep getting an error. Either we've tried with the engine running or just ignition on, either way, no. But I want to see the data. I need to crash out of this to go back in. Well, let's go back. Back. We've got codes. So. This car times it oh so quickly. Right. We try. So this is the codes we're left with. I see 1515 and a 1525, right? So when we go back, go back, we go into data, just let you see this. So these funny figures, 1441, 1441. And when we turn the steering, the steering wheel, we're not getting any of these figures to adjust. So it's just been calibrated. But why it's not doing it, I don't know. See, it's got a number of DTCs too. You want to just turn the steering wheel ready and just... None. No. Well, there is actual motor current hit changes a wee bit, but nothing. Nothing dramatic. Nothing dramatic. No, we're barking up the wrong tree. We cannot get this to calibrate. And if we go back into this... Yeah, wait a minute. let's check our codes again. Current codes. 15, 15, 15, 25. Uh, let's see what codes were allowed. So functional test, special function. 
torch sensor. This function is used to the uh, right, so continue. Uh, no DC to set 15, 15, 15, 25. That's exactly what we have. So we put the ignition off and then we put it back on and it will not complete. So we're stuck. So it then comes up with this menu, turn the ignition switch off, then turn it back on. Now we can do that, right, and we can communicate with the, the power steering initially, but it's like the ignition times out. And I think that maybe be an issue. So no less, I'll show you yeah. again. Sorry. So I have to put it off. Just so put it off. And then we put it, press it twice, hold it, we get clicking, and that's ignition on. Continue. <coughs> I just stick first in lights on. And we do right, let's just do it one more time and see if it does anything. Right, we have spent way too long at this car, but we got a bit of inspiration last night. We seen a YouTube video, I think it was called Dallas Technician. And he had wiring issues with it. So, what we've done, we've been in there, and rather than oming it out, we used a little test light in the power probe to check continuity on this multi-plug here. This is the one that goes to the torch sensor and whatever. And we think we've found a broken wire. And it's actually, I'll, I'll take you and show you. So it's a black wire. See, somebody's been in here before. There's mastic. But the problem's not up here. I'll show you. So, the problem is the wiring in this little sensor here, and it's a black wire. So you can see somebody's been here before, but when we went up through, I think it was that bottom pin there, that's where the black wire resides. We got nothing between here, and Roddy was up at the ECU with the test light. No continuity, but when we went up here to this black wire there, and I fed it power, Disconnected for the, piece, the the power steering control module, then his test light illuminated. So my problem is between here and here. So let's go after it. Right, Roddy, let's see this broken wire, lad. There it's there. Now, I said to Roddy yesterday, and he wouldn't have listened. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. Oh, look at that. That is painful. Right, we need to see how we can get this wire back together. Okay. So that's it finally repaired. Now we sorted that wiring and then we went to another ECU and it still complained about the torch sensor. So we then put the EB ECU in it and then all we had to do was calibrate it on the tool. So sorry I missed that bit. But it, it did calibrate and it moved to the second stage and the, the wheel shaked about and everything like that so it was all good. So I'll show you the fault codes. They're all good. I'll show you the data stream. Just to let you see, this was a real pig. So, you want to turn that steering wheel rod and look at the current. That's right, it's taking one amp. We're, we've got the front wheels off the ground anyway, but no matter. Power supply, 14 volts. So there, it's taking 49 amps. I need to put it on the ground to let you see that. Motor rotation, motor rotation angle, look, you see that goes. Motor terminal 13 amps, 13 volts, sorry. 13, th motor voltage 27 volts. Power assisted signal on. Uh, steering angle velocity, just turn that a wee bit, Roddy. There we go, figures there. DTC zero. And torch sensor output one. Just turn it, Roddy. So I thought they maybe mirror each other, these two sort of sensors, they don't, so we'll take it a run. And I managed know. to repair that Lexus, uh, this is a bit of wire uh, I found, I never well, had it all before, but what this is off of is, you remember the small computer, a Raspberry Pi? Well, it has an I.O. section that you can buy jump wires for it. So what you do is you take the end of it, and see that bit there, that was absolutely perfect to go into that torque sensor which it was complaining about. So we managed to adapt it, and that's how we got that power steering light off. Now the wire's very thin, so where do you source your little connectors eh, from, those that do these kind of jobs? Because we've not got a source 
But uh, that worked perfect. So that was out of Raspberry Pi. And that car's going great. But we are recommending that he pay, uh, gets another loom and replaces that for the power steering, for the power steering at ECU. And because that, their looms are just terrible. Anyway, Raspberry Pi pin. 